Remember that great plan Donald Trump had, remain in Mexico? Citizenship pending? You can't just run around America as a non-citizen? Well, uh, Joe Biden finally figured out that's a pretty good idea. Now, the first thing he did when he got to office was reverse every good idea Donald Trump had. And now that the reality of the mess at the border has set in, finally, finally, uh, they're reinstating this uh, Remain in Mexico policy. Now, he was also encouraged by a federal judge to do this, and they worked out a deal with Mexico, and that's what's going to happen. Hey, if President Trump had remained in office, we wouldn't have had any of these problems. Uh, that's true. So I want to bring in Brandon Judd, National Border Patrol Council President. Brandon, welcome back. This is uh, quite the reversal from the Biden team. It is a reversal, but let me be clear. None of our agents, myself included, have heard that they're in fact going to reinstate this program yet. So no programs, no policies, um, nothing has come down to the agents saying, this is how we're going to implement this, this is what we're going to do. So I still have a great deal of skepticism on whether or not this administration is in fact going to properly um, re-implement this program and that it's going to work the way it did under President Trump. I'm hoping that it's going to, but we have no reason to believe that it is. Well, that sounds a lot like the Biden administration. Leak it to the fake news first and uh, tell the guys who actually have to make it happen, tell them later or they'll figure it out for themselves. So the word is they're going to formally, uh, I mean, they'll have some sort of announcement tomorrow afternoon. You know, it's late in the week, Friday, bury it, that kind of thing. I mean, are you, you, you really do think though that this could all fall apart? Uh, you, you, you're, are you optimistic or what? Well, I'm always going to be optimistic. I'm always looking for the best. I want the border secured. Our agents want the border secured. The American public, your viewers, want the border secured. We all want that. So, of course, I'm going to be optimistic. I'm just, I, I just have to look at the way this administration has run the border into the ground to this point, and, and I have to say, is it really going to happen? Um, the if is always going to be there, and we have to wait and see. All right. I, by the way, uh, we also saw what Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and the rest said about those Border Patrol officers on horseback. There will be consequences. It's an embarrassment, but it's beyond an embarrassment. It's dangerous, it's wrong. Human beings should not be treated that way. And as we all know, it also evoked images of some of the worst moments of our history, where that kind of behavior has been used against the indigenous people of our country, has been used against African Americans during times of slavery. That is unacceptable. That is not what our policies and our training require. Brandon, judge just how wrong were each of those people? Those are three of the most powerful people in the entire world, and yet they jumped to conclusions. They did not even allow an investigation to go forward to find out the facts, to find out if, if in fact, there was any wrongdoing. They are flat out wrong. This does not harken back to slavery age. This is a law enforcement tactic. This is what is used in order to control a very dangerous situation. We have to remember that these horse patrol agents, they had nearly 14,000 people at their backs. They had several hundred people that were trying to cross the border illegally, and they were caught in the middle of those two very large groups. This was a very volatile situation. It could have exploded at any moment, and that's why there were so many DPS officers at the scene at the time. So to have three of the most powerful people in the world already jump to conclusions, jump, jump to judgments, there is no way that we can possibly expect that there is going to be a fair and impartial investigation. These investigators are part of the executive branch. Their jobs are dependent upon whether or not they please this administration. There is no way we can expect that a fair and impartial investigation is going to come of this because of the words of the president himself. So the Department of Homeland Security actually said, we're not gonna investigate. A little discreet mention of this. We're not investigating, and I guess the Office of uh, Professional Responsibility, I think there's an article about this that we can put up on the screen. They said that they'll have to handle it. What's the distinction, if you don't mind? 
There is no distinction. OPR, or the Office of Professional Responsibility, is in office within DHS. DHS controls that office, just like DHS controls the Border Patrol. It controls ICE. It controls um, um, OFO and CBP. It yeah. controls all of those entities. What? OPR is an entity within CBP. CBP is an entity within DHS. So DHS can completely and totally controls this investigation. And for them to say that they're not going to do the investigation is misleading and uh, you know what i'm gonna go as far as saying it's just flat out a lie so all right this is great to know so there were some people who interpreted it like look these guys they haven't been totally exonerated but the penalty will have to be less it's more like docking vacation days or something like that no they're just as vulnerable as they were at the start by the way just to be clear here i don't think they did anything wrong i've studied that tape there's there's no abuse of any kind happening but the fact that the Department of Homeland Security, the uh, the inspector general declined to investigate, that that's not in any way a victory for these guys. It, it is a victory that that the uh, the IG, the inspector general, they investigate criminal actions. So the IG has already determined that they did nothing criminally. OPR, they investigate administrative actions. So what they can do, the, the most that they can do is fire these agents for their, their actions unless the agents lie to them under, under oath. If they lie to them under oath, then they can take criminal action. But OPR, what they do is they investigate administrative violations. So they're looking at the, from a policy end. They're looking to see, did these, did these agents follow their training? Did they they follow the policies were they sent out there to do a specific job that's what OPR is going to look at but again you have to go back to what the president said the president promised that there's going to be consequences how can any OPR investigator possibly exonerate these agents fully when the president has already made that declaration finally can you tell me a little bit about morale morale sometimes means different things to different people but the morale of uh, uh, the Border Patrol now compared to the Border Patrol morale, say, <laughs> the four previous years. Well, I, I've been a Border Patrol agent for 24 years. I have never seen the morale so low. Um, it just, you, you can't expect agents to be able to go out there and do a job when you know that the administration does not support the mission that we're going out there and try to do. And, and let's be honest, law enforcement throughout the nation, it doesn't matter whether you're a Border Patrol agent or police officer, a DEA agent, we put on uniforms because we care about the American public. We want to go out there and we want to protect them. We just don't see, um, from, from a National Border Patrol Council standpoint, we just don't see that this administration is in fact um, trying to protect the American American public. You can see it with the COVID. We had 52,000 people in the month of October that were that were able to, I'm sorry, in the month of December, um, November, that were able to evade apprehension. These people, we don't know what diseases they're bringing in, yet we're going to put travel bans and completely ignore what's happening on the southwest border. You can't tell me that the Omicron um, variant is not coming in through those people that are getting away on our southwest border, yet the administration is doing nothing to stem that flow. It's pretty wild. It is pretty wild. Well, listen, Brandon Judd, we thank you once again. Our best to all your guys and, and women on the force. To be continued, sir, Brandon Judd, National Border Patrol Council President. Thanks. It was good to speak with you. Thank you. Be right back. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.